بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو گریڈ سیون سائنس کلاس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دا نیکسٹ ٹاپک آف چیپٹر نمبر ون دیٹ از دا ویکیوم فلاسک وچ از آلسو نون ایز تھرمس فلاسک ویکیوم فلاسک از بیسکلی دا ایپلیکیشن آف ڈفرینٹ ویز آف ٹرانسفرنگ ہیٹ which are normally called conduction, convection and radiation. So now we are going to start our chapter. Open your book on page number 9 and then we will proceed it up to the 10. This is the last topic of your chapter number 1 as well. The most important application of all the ways of heat transferring has been seen in vacuum flask vacuum flask is also known as thermos flask what is the purpose of thermos flask or vacuum flask it can keep drinks hot or cold for several hours that for example first of all agar hum yahan par agar aapko sirf ye samjhaye ki hamari conduction convection aur radiation ki misale kahan milti hain تو آپ کے سامنے یہ تھرمس فلاسک نظر آ رہا ہے آپ کو سو تھرمس فلاسک اور دا ویکیوم فلاسک جو آپ گھروں میں استعمال بھی کرتے ہیں کہ اگر آپ نے اس میں کوئی ہاٹ ٹی یا کافی رکھنی ہے کوئی گرم چیز اگر رکھنی ہے تو یہ کئی گھنٹے تک آپ کے اس چیز کو آپ کے ڈرنک کو گرم رکھ سکتا ہے اسی کے ساتھ ساتھ اگر آپ نے آئس کیوبس اس میں رکھنے اور آپ چاہ رہے ہیں کہ وہ جلدی میلٹ نہ ہو تو تھرمس فلاسک یا ویکیوم فلاسک بھی اس پرپز کے لیے استعمال ہو سکتا ہے سو دا فلاس ہیز اے نمبر آف امپورٹنٹ فیچرز اس میں بہت ساری ایسی خاص باتیں آپ کو نظر آئیں گی جس سے آپ کہہ سکتے ہیں کہ آپ کی جو ٹھنڈی یا گرم چیز ہے وہ آپ کئی گھنٹوں کے لیے سیو کر کے یا محفوظ کر کے رکھ سکتے ہیں واٹ آر دا امپورٹنٹ فیچرز ان دس تھرمس فلاس فرسٹ آف آل یو کین سی دس ٹاپر اور کیب اوور ہیئر دس پارٹ دس پورشن آف دا تھرمس فلاس از کالڈ اسٹاپر What is the purpose of this stopper? It actually minimizes or reduces the heat loss which is occurred by convection and conduction. So, in this case, what is the purpose of this stopper? This is a cap that is in the thermos flask in the mouth and it is the purpose of this convection or conduction because of the heat loss or the heat loss or the heat loss اس کو پریونٹ کرنے میں اسٹاپر اہم کردار ادا کرتا ہے دا سیکنڈ پوائنٹ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا اسپیس اور دا گیپ وچ از پریزنٹ بٹوین دا والس اینڈ ویئر دس گیپ آفٹر دس آفٹر دا لیبلنگ آف دا اسٹاپر یو کین فائنڈ ہیئر گیپ ود ایئر ریموو یعنی بالکل اندر کے سائڈ پہ جو ایریا آپ کو یہاں نظر آ رہا ہے دس ایریا جس کو ہم نے یہاں پر شیڈ کر دیا ہے تو یہ ایریا کیا ہے یہ وہ جگہ ہے جہاں پر ویکیوم جو ہے وہ بنا دیا گیا ہے اور ویکیوم کا مطلب ہوتا ہے جہاں پر کوئی ہوا موجود نہ ہو تو ہوا نکال کر باقاعدہ طور پہ اس جگہ کو بنایا گیا ہے اس میں کوئی ہوا موجود نہیں ہے لہذا گیپ پروڈیوس کر دیا گیا ہے اسپیس بنا دی گئی ہے اور اس اسپیس کا ہم نے فائدہ اٹھانا ہے تاکہ ہیٹ لاس کو روکا جا سکے جو کس وجہ سے ہوتی ہے کنویکشن اور کنڈکشن کی وجہ سے تو جتنی ہیٹ لاس کم ہوگی جتنا ہی آپ کا جو ہے وہ تھرمس فلاس جو ہے وہ ہیٹ کے اگینسٹ ایک طریقے سے اپنے آپ کو پریونٹ کر لے گا اتنا ہی آپ کی چیز اس میں گرم یا ٹھنڈی رہ سکے گی بیکاز ایئر از دا بیڈ کنڈکٹر آف ہیٹ یہ بھی ہمیں پتہ ہے تھرڈ فیچر از سلور لائننگ واٹ از سلور لائننگ آپ کو اس طریقے سے نظر آ رہا ہوگا کہ اس طرح کی میں نے چار لیئرز آپ کو بتائی ہیں کتنی لیئرز ہیں یہ فور لیئرز ہیں ون ٹو تھری فور اب آپ جب اس کو ڈرا کریں گے تو آپ نے دیکھا ہوگا کہ تھرمس فلاس کو کبھی اندر سے کھول کر آپ نے کیپ اس کا ریموو کر کے دیکھا ہو تو اس طرح سے بالکل شائنی سرفیس آپ کو نظر آئے گی واٹ از دس شائنی سرفیس اباؤٹ It is actually the silvery surface inside the thermos flask which is actually lined by or coated with the silver. You understand that this shiny surface is coated by which is covered by which is silver is covered by which is silver. Due to the silver lining, what is the purpose of this silver lining of the walls? 
it again reduces the heat loss but now this time not by conduction and convection this time by radiation so these two features of the thermos flask are actually involved in reducing basically the heat loss by conduction and convection while the silver lining is involved by reducing the heat loss through radiation so all these three phenomena of the methods or ways of transferring heat can be seen in the one object that is the one application that is called thermos flask or the vacuum flask second and last topic of this chapter is more about changing state this topic is related to the kinetic theory of molecules we know that different substances exist in different states of matter for example water basically water exists in all three states of matter how in solid state water is ice in liquid state water is liquid water liquid water and in gaseous state basically water is in, is in the form of vapors water vapors so as you can see that water exists in all three physical state of matter which are solid liquid and gases or gas form so in this topic we also learn about that how different states of matters are change in them that how does ice change into liquid water and liquid water change into or changes into vapors so let us see what happens when some crushed ice is heated for example you have to take a beaker and inside the beaker you will take you will take some ice cubes which are crushed so say take some ice cubes in this way i am taking few of them to show this activity to you so these are ice cubes now ice cubes are gently heated as well so i am providing heat from the bottom of the container so this is heat clear so the ice is gently warmed until it melts so what do you will observe after some time that some liquid water will also be appeared or will be seen along with the ice cube the heat is then turned up until the water begins to boil and if the heat is increased what happens that after some time the liquid water finally the ice changes into the liquid water and the liquid water starts boiling and after this these water vapors get mixed into the air so these are vapors so which thing you are observing in this activity that ice after getting heat changes into the liquid water and when the temperature or heat is increased this liquid water changes into the vapors and begins to boil as well so the temperature is taken every 30 seconds from starts to finish for this purpose you need a thermometer which it will be inserted inside the beaker in this way so you can record your temperature as well by using this instrument called thermometer thermometer clear 
so by this simple activity you can easily calculate out that is what is happening that is more about changing state how one state of matter changes into another more about changing state can be represented in the form of a graph so this graph shows the result of the investigation there are four stages you can see here stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and stage 4 so what does the whole graph show stage 1 represent the heat energy is raising that is increasing the temperature of the ice up to 0 degree celsius which is the melting point of water stage number 2 indicates that here there is very little temperature rises or increases that is you can't even observe it by this line with this horizontal line the heat energy is being used to allow water molecules to break away from their fixed position in the ice so here you in this stage 2 you can see the combination of ice and water as well which indicates that at 0 degree celsius now the ice changes into water some what you can say a small amount of water is also formed here which is mixed along with the ice now stage number 3 the heat energy is further increased the temperature of the water up to up to 100 degree celsius which is the boiling bp mean boiling point of water stage number 4 here there is no temperature rise so line is horizontal line is not going upward in this manner here you can see these are the lines which are going upward which indicate that the with the increase of the heat energy the temperature also increases but here there is no increase in the temperature which indicates the heat energy is being used to allow water molecules to break free completely and here we can see that water now changes into some what steam that is vapors so here in this stage you can see you can observe the combination of both liquid water and the gaseous water that is steam and the liquid is ch changing finally into gas or steam which is also called water vapors so at different temperature which are mentioned here in the degree celsius starting from minus 30 degree celsius where the ice is still is in the form of ice that is in the solid state of water this is your stage number 1 that after increasing the heat energy temperature also increased and at 0 degree celsius finally the water starts starts melting into the water then further increase of temperature or the heat energy also increases the temperature of water up to 100 degree celsius which indicate the boiling point of water then further increase or in the heat energy cannot cause any change here so what happens here finally we can say that heat energy does not increase the temperature if it increases then the water finally changes into the steam or water vapors or in gaseous form so this is this graph shows the conversion of the solid ice into the liquid water and then from liquid water finally it changes into steam that is the gaseous form of water so this whole graph is related to your topic more about changing state I hope you have understood this graph as well as the thermos flask. Now there is one more interesting information given on page number ten of this chapter, that is the last chapter, uh, last page of your chapter, and it is about not all substances melt at the same temperature. That is, the melting point of every substance is not the same; it changes. For example. they have given you a compound having name commonly called salon and what is the scientific name of this compound phenyl salicylate 
phenyl salicylate phenyl salicylate is basically a sweet smelling chemical which is used in the making of soap and this solid cellulose melts at around 41 degrees celsius so what is the melting point of cellulose it is 41 degree celsius so different substances have different different melting points they are they actually vary from each other they are not same so dear student this is the end of today's lesson i hope you have understood it all very clearly so allah hafiz